There's no day that Nigerians who hear that EFCC officials raided one hotel or an apartment block and arrested everyone in the guise that they are all Yahoo boys, a term that is used in Nigeria to describe scammers. But when it comes to arresting a high-profile politician like Yahaya Bello who stole more than 80 billion naira, an amount that thousands of Yahoo boys can only dream of scamming from their victims. One will think that they will focus on the bigger fish. They know that one person stole 80 billion naira. Concentrate 100% or 90% of your effort on that one person because that will mean the recovery of 80 billion naira for the people of Kogi State. But no, they will be going after hotels like this latest one in Ojo area of Lagos. They raided a hotel in the early morning hours, arrested all the youths in the guise that they are all Yahoo boys. They arrest people without investigation. Tell me the road they are safe going go far. People play through the park now. You never see anything. What's the difference between these guys and armed robbers? What authority do they have to brutalize Nigerians? Is brutalizing Nigerians part of their job description? That's why the last time they did this in Oyo State, they made away with the CCTV cameras. Or was it in Ondo State? The law needs to be thrown at these guys because they are right here on camera brutalizing the manager of a hotel who did nothing wrong. How will the hotel management know the job of their potential customer, someone who came to lodge in a hotel? Or do hotel managers have to demand what they do for a living before offering them their services? This is very strange. It can't continue to be going on in this country. Why will the EFCC officials continue brutalizing and harassing innocent citizens? Let's hope that this gets the traction that it deserves so that the authorities in high places will see and act on it. Anyway, let's get to the main story. EFCC officials were in court today in continuation of the trial of Yahya Bello. And because Yahya Bello failed to show up in court like he promised, in fact, not this particular adjournment, even the last one, he also promised to appear before the court, but he failed to appear in the two court sittings. Now, their attorney is asking the court to punish Yahya Bello's attorney for failing to produce him in court. What a travesty. This is how law enforcement officials operate in Nigeria. When they are looking for someone, they can't find that person, they arrest another person in his place. It has happened before, it happened last year. They arrested one guy when they were looking for his cousin or was it his elder brother. So that's the mentality of incompetent people. Instead of EFCC offering a bounty to anyone that can give information about the whereabouts of Yahya Bello so that they can arrest him and bring him to trial, they are now shifting the blame to his lawyer. This has forced the lawyer to withdraw from representing Yahya Bello in court. He withdrew his services. Would you blame him? He's only representing him. He doesn't know the whereabouts of Yahya Bello. Since they want to rope him in that he knows his whereabouts, it's better he withdraws from the case. Besides, he might not have met Yahya Bello face to face since he went on the run. Yahya Bello is also not serious. How can he be on the run, a former governor? After promising to appear before the court, he failed to appear the first time. The second time, he still failed to appear. Now he has filed another request that he wants the trial to be moved to Kogi State instead of Abuja. It shows that he's running away from trial. An accused person cannot be giving conditions to the court. It never happens. EFCC cost all this. They shouldn't even be going to court and be asking the attorney to produce him. They should have gone ahead to arrest him or enforce the arrest warrant they got from the court. That's how it is done. When you come to court and depend on the attorney to produce someone that you've got warrant to arrest, then it means you're not doing your job. Now, let's hear the ridiculous request by the EFCC attorney, Pihero S.A.N. He said, quote, We urge the court to exercise disciplinary jurisdiction over the lawyers so as to preserve the integrity of the judiciary. If a chief justice of Nigeria can be dogged before an inferior tribunal, who then is an S.A.N. or a former governor in terms of status? Even a former president of the United States of America was dogged. These senior lawyers have been helping the defendant to treat this court with scorn. For five consecutive sittings, the defendant refused to make himself available for his trial, and his lawyers have continued to use all forms of chicanery to frustrate his arraignment. If this sort of conduct is not punished, then we will be sliding to a situation that will be worse than the animal farm. The world is watching. Punishing these senior lawyers will send a clear message. Unquote. 
looking at the statement you will see the angle the lawyer is coming from he's thinking ah these guys they have collected their own share of the loot from yahaya bello and are here frustrating the trial that's a misdirected anger the lawyers are simply doing their jobs all criminals and accused persons deserve legal representation in all courts and the lawyers are not armed they are not law enforcement agents so they can in no way force yahaya bello to show up in court that's the job of law enforcement agencies like the EFCC. They obtain the warrant from court. They should find the Ahaya Bello wherever he is and produce him in court. It's as simple as that. And by the way, when is the EFCC chairman resigning? Because he promised to resign if he fails to prosecute Yahaya Bello or bring him to court. So Nigerians are waiting for him to resign so that a more competent person can take over and focus on politicians because the corruption that is going on within the political space dwarfs what is going on in the scammer space or Yahoo boys like they call them. Thanks for watching.